Oh, hey guys, Codeboy32 here. Check it out, man. Got a bunch of ammo. We're going to talk about storage. We're going to talk about minimum amounts you must keep on hand at all times in the current situation in the world today. Uh, that's about it. Stand by. All right, this here is Codeboy32. Let's go to Boy32, check it out. Uh, a number of people have asked me, and there's a bunch of videos out there on, uh, you know, how to store ammo, how much ammo should you have, uh, you know, what's the bare essentials. But, you know, here's the thing, and there's even one guy out there who has a, a bunch of ratios, and I swear to God, man, start throwing uh, fractions in there, and I get really, really nervous and crazy. Just two trains, one heading north, one headed south, I break out in sweats. But anyway, what I wanted to do is give you my point of view on uh, ammo, ammo uh, stockpiling, uh, and how much ammo I liked, my perception of how much ammo I need. Uh, and so we'll move forward from there. All right, so let's talk about the first thing is ammo storage. And uh, while we're doing this, I'm gonna just kind of go through things. These are uh, Ziploc bags, these are the freezer bags, there's 35 count in here, and I'm gonna show you the reasons why we do that as we go through this thing. But anyway, I like to store my stuff in about two or three different ways, okay? One being is the good old 30, uh, the uh, M60 or the M30 30 cal cans, and one of the things I do is the 30 cal cans. I like to store my stuff that's on stripper clips. So then what I do is I take a piece of tape, tape over across it because once this is taped over, I know that the information that I have on top is accurate. Say for instance, this can right here, this is 500 rounds of 5.56, 62 grain, and on stripper clips and a lot of times these these cans actually only come with 420 rounds but what I do is I go ahead and supplement it with an additional 80 rounds so that there's an even 500 rounds so if I've got a bunch of these lined up on the floor then I know that I can count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I've got five thousand rounds of five five six now this is 62 grain this is 55 grain on stripper clips so this one I've got to verify and then once I put the tape over it it's stored away so there you go, the, the 30 cal cans work great. Now, a lot of times what I'll do also is I have some, I don't know, 38 special, just not a, a, a round that I need a lot of, I just need to make sure I have some. So I'll just leave those rounds in a box and I'll go ahead and I'll put them in the 50 cal can. All right, so easy enough. And in addition to that, a lot of people say, you know, you need to put the uh, moisture packs in here. Well, guys, if you're storing these things in a conditioned space, which is the best way to do it, Keep it in your, I keep it in the house. I've got a storage closet that is specified just for ammo and uh, basically it's in the cans. If the house burns down, whatever, I got insurance. And believe me, baby, I got every bit of this accounted for. So anyway, um, this is in a conditioned space so I don't have to worry about a lot of things. And then also, if you're buying Lake City Brass, you've got some independence and I think uh, there's a couple other ones out there. That ammo, ammunition comes a kneel. So there's not gonna be a lot of issues with water uh, or infiltration or moisture infiltration into these things. And let's go ahead and put this away. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you another method I use that if it's not long storage, but it's for range use, or you know it could be for long storage, but in ease of operation, and this is how I do it. And then after that, we're gonna go into the concept of how many rounds you need to have. Stand by. All right, guys, we're back. And basically what it is, I stuck those things away. We've got a couple more boxes here now. A lot of these guys, I, I use a lot of those Plano plastic boxes. This is a new, uh, I wouldn't say manufacturer because it's probably made by the same manufacturer, just a different distributor. Uh, Bear Arms, pick these up off of uh, Amazon, I think $28. It was a dollar cheaper ordering these by four pack uh, with this $5 shipping. But anyway, these ended up coming out at about $6.25 a piece. But I love these little boxes simply because one, they're secure. They have an, uh, a weather seal around there and they're stackable. Now, how high you can stack them, not so sure, but I probably have about two or three stacks of these things, about five or six stacks high. Never had any issues at them, but I do like the convenience of an inexpensive, economical box like this, all right? Nothing's better, obviously, than the, the uh, military-style can, but, you know, if you've got some things that you just need, I'm not gonna spend, it's a pain in the ass to have to order them. You can get them for $9.99 from uh, Palmetto State Army. There's a couple of other places that are cheaper. If you can find them on sale at your local gun store, by all means, buy those. You're not going to get any better. But these, I like. 
Uh, the security lock right here, this is probably not going to suffice for you people who have to have something that's secure. Depends on the cop that stops you. <laughs> Talking to you, New Jersey. Anyhow, all right, so let's talk about the things. This is how I like to do it. So I've got two ammo cans here. I'm gonna take 500 rounds of 40 cal. We're gonna take 500 rounds of 223, and I'm gonna show you what I do. And this is a great option for people who um, have issues with want to go to the range. So basically, I just go ahead, I take these things, I unbox them. So basically, put that in there like that. Wow, that's cool looking. This is the first time I've opened these bad boys. And what I do is I take and I put 100 rounds in each bag. Okay? And then I take it and I try to seal it up as tight as I possibly can. Open up this can like this. And I'll actually lay it down on the side, just like so, and I'll stack that in there, just like that. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue on down the route. I'll go ahead and fast forward through this area so you don't have to sit here and watch me do all these. But at the end of the day, you're gonna be able to see how this organizes your ammo. It's great for range use, because if you're gonna go to the range, all you gotta do is reach in there and grab a one Ziploc bag it packs easier than the box. There's a lot of advantages to it. So anyway, let's go ahead and move forward with this thing and we'll knock her out. And bye. Check it out. Here we go. All right, so we're done. We're going to stack that in there, just like that. Okay, so what I have now is a grab bag. If I need to go to the range, basically I'm just going to reach in here. I'm going to grab one of these bags. I know that I got 100 rounds sitting in that bag, and I could just throw it in one of my shoulder bags or whatever. Nice thing is, is the boxes take up a lot of room. Okay, and because they simply just are bulky, they're not. They don't move. They don't. Uh, they're not organic to the, uh, the your side bag or whatever you're carrying these things. If you just set that in there, you can take this, open it up, and there you go. You're in business. Now a lot of people have said. You know, don't store them like that uh, because, you know, you're going to have moisture inside the bags. That, and, and there's a sense, there's some truth to that. But uh, one of the things is these are not going to be sitting in here for long. Trust me, I run through ammo like it's going out of style. I have to do some shooting. So what we're going to do is going to close this thing up. Now this is going to go against the wall. Now you can see that this box with 500 rounds of 40 cal holds up pretty good. But what I want to do now, I'm going to take my old Gorilla Tape. So I'm going to tape it over just like that, and then I'm going to take a Sharpie right here, and I'm going to mark it in two different locations. One on the top, I'm going to say, this is Blazer. Forty cal. 180 grain. 500 rounds. So I know what I'm doing. Now, one of the things I also do is I like to stack these things vertical. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Might not get so detailed in that, but I'm going to say 40 cal, 180 grain, 500 rounds. So then I know what's in this box just by looking at it. And eventually what you do is you just want to make sure you got a stack of 40, stack of 9, 556, 38, 45, whatever you got going on there. So, guys, in a nutshell, that's basically what I'm going to do here. That's how I store my ammo. I'm going to take this 556 box and do the same thing to this because whenever I go to a range, I like to just grab 100 rounds, 200 rounds. I know what I got. I don't have to worry about unboxing it. No issues there. Now, let's talk about how much ammo you should have. Now, that's really and truly up to you, okay? I, my personal rule of thumb. This is how I think, and I've got a long way to go to actually stockpile this thing. I think I've probably got about 10,000 rounds, uh, and I've got a good friend of mine that says, you, you're not there until you get about 50,000 rounds. And that's, yeah, man, great, great for you if you can do that. A lot of people reload. I'm not into the reloading. I don't have enough time. Hell, I hardly have enough time for these videos. But what my rule of thumb is, if you have 5.56, five, 5.56, five, six, five, five, six, thousand rounds per firearm, okay? So if you have two 
ARs, at a minimum, you should have a thousand rounds of each. Now, this is ammo that you're going to put away, stockpile. This is not something you're going to touch. Guys, everybody's like, well, you need 10,000 rounds of this. In a reality of it, if you have to relocate or move, how are you going to carry it? A thousand rounds is a good number. It'll get you where you need to be. Uh, on the pistol side, if you've got five nine millimeters, guys, guess what? You're going to need 2,500 rounds. I'm sorry, 5,000 rounds. All right, 5,000 rounds of nine millimeter. You got a, I got a, a single 45. I'm going to make sure I got a thousand rounds of 45. Again, like if it's a 38 special, I'm not so concerned about that. But as a rule of thumb, I think a thousand rounds will get you where you need to be. Okay, it's easily transportable, and that's ammo that you don't touch. It's set aside, ready for a rainy day. Anyway, in a nutshell, the guys, that's it. This is long. This is how I store my ammo. That's my theory behind uh, the amount of ammo that you should be having on hand at all times. Uh, let's go back real quickly again with the current environment and where we are in election year uh, coming up on this year. My stockpile goal is to buy 500 to 1,000 rounds of something, something what I can get. Now, 5.56, five, I probably have enough that any sane person would think, but I'm not really sane, so I'm just going to keep you know 500 rounds a month till I can get up, uh, you know, where I feel safe. And then if they jack the price up, man, I'll just slow my shooting down. But uh, I think in the long run, that's probably not going to happen. Uh, guys, that's my theory. As always, support your boys in blue. God bless America. God bless us men and women in uniform 24-7 for freedom, because freedom is not free. It's code 132. Out.